Hey guys, Lego Maniac 551 with another Lego set review. This time we are doing the Republic Frigate. Good set. But first, before explaining the set, I shall explain to you the minifigs. Yes, minifigs. Starting off with Yoda. Awesome. Yoda. Not that much printing. Um, so. Yeah, printing is okay on him, I guess. Average. Then we got, um, Eth. I think it's, what is it? Ethkoth? Ethkoth? Yeah, Ethkoth. Eastkoth? Who knows? Well, you guys probably do. I think I said that right. Anyways, two of the guys here, the two Jedi, this guy, the guy that I'm pointing at right here. Yeah, that guy. This guy right here, yeah. That guy and him both have hard names, so I'm sorry if I don't pronounce them right. Um, anyways, East Koth, S Koth, um, rubber piece here, um, better printing than Yoda. Sadly, Yoda should be better in all ways. Um, then we have Quan Voice, Quan Voice, I think. Yeah, anyways, you will strip right here. Um, hair piece, pretty good. Um, awesome printing. Awesome printing with shininess. Um, yeah, green lightsaber. They all have green lightsabers, which is kind of weird. So now to eliminate the Jedi and to move on to the clones. This is wolf pack clones. Um, so yeah. Let's get started with the regular wolf pack guy. Um... Awesome helmet. Pretty cool helmet. Um, <coughs> and, yeah, regular clone trooper face. So, nothing special. Again, good printing. Um, awesome printing everywhere. Jetpack. Regular clone trooper gun. So, yeah. Now, on to Wolfie Wolf. His name's spelt weird on the box, so I can't really tell. It's spelt W O L F F E. Yeah, I think that that's right. Um, yeah, so. Yeah. He's kind of like the other guy that I just showed you. Just cooler. Like, the body printing and everything's the same. The only thing is the helmet, gun, and face. Anyways, good printing, little communicator there, awesome face, no eye, he has, like, his left eye is missing, um, right eye, I think, yeah, right eye, his right eye, who knows, um, and he has a scar across it, he has kind of like a beard thingy going on, a goatee, yeah, um, handguns, little cape thingy, good printing. Now on to the actual set. I'm going to start off with the front. Look fire missiles up here that are pretty good. Um, little telephone piece, binocular piece. This opens up. Oh yeah, antennae, antenna, antennae. Um, and then the cockpit looks like so. Looks like that. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so there's the cockpit, and then, now to the escape pod, with, with the easy pull of the lever, drops out, um, stickers, four stickers to be exact, um, around, we have gun rack, and seating area, And, yeah, so you just kind of slide it back up, push it in. Um, yeah, that's really all for that part. Now on to the sides. We have here just a little bit of, I think that this is supposed to be like an engine part or something. That's where they, like, keep the gas. Um, this is the artillery bed. Um, so, yeah, here, let me see if I can get a good view. There we go. 
Um, it's supposed to drop the missiles. I'm not too sure. There's a crate right here, which is um, which holds like a little thingy. Can't remember what it is. It's like a binocular, I think special thing of binoculars. Here are the bombs that is supposed to drop. And if you could please tell me how you drop them, that'd be awesome. Um, in the comments below. Um, yeah, because all I know really, I don't know how to load them is my one big problem. All I know is that you pull this out and they're supposed to drop somehow. You got bottom turrets. Now on the top here, I took off the spinny rotating part. Um, and yeah, so it's supposed to spin around, but it would it was being weird, and I just wanted them to go straight in front. Um, so yeah. Only really flaw, I think. It's really fragile, too, depending how you build it on, like I explained in the last review. Um, anyways, turrets here, here. This is their sitting part, their little part where they sit down. And I... First, I'm going before I show you inside. I want to show you the hologram of dun -dun -dun, Emperor Palpatine. It's really unfocused right now, so I don't know if you can see it that well. But yeah, it's a little Emperor Palpatine thingy. Um, so very cool. There's they had the other version of this in the um, like a bigger version in the um, Empire Destroyer or something. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called, but yeah, bigger version. If you were lucky enough, you would get it. Um, there's a lightsaber rack, but it's somewhere it's been falling all over the place and flying everywhere. Um, sticker. Um, yeah, so that's really all for the front. Like I said, really fragile, especially when you're doing this. So, um, yeah. That's really all for the immediate for that part. Um, then this part here. I'm going to move the camera. I think so. I'm just gonna move the set. Um, goes up. Not that much to show you inside, so not even there, there's no point in me bothering doing that. Um, yeah, antenna. It's kind of like the communications part. Um, this moves around, so that's kind of cool. The other one doesn't at the front. Over at the front, it does not move. So, and then we just have the big engines. If I can show you all of them. The engines. Um, so yeah. And then I shall show you it. This comes up to grab it, so easy carrying. Um, anyways, so, just kind of put them up like that. 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 And that get the full thing, but I can't stretch my arm out enough. So yeah, I'm just going to put them back on and put the set back down. While I'm doing this learn, please give me your thoughts. Well, I have a ship very similar to it. It's the 2007 model. It gets destroyed in the very first scene of the first movie. But overall, it is a very great ship, much more modified than mine, but it and it comes with much better minifigs. So I would rate it at five stars. Nick? Five Five bricks. Um Well, I agreed like the two thousand seven version. I know it's not the exact same thing, it's not called the exact same thing. Because this is from the Clone Wars. The other thing's from episode one. Um but they have very similar design. But anyways, my rating on it, oh, by the way, highly recommended. Big recommended thingy. Um, but I give it five bricks as well. Um, and I think, I think that's really all there's to it. Thank you for watching this review. This is Lego Maniac 551 and Lerm signing out. Peace.